Okay, today's video is going to be a programming guide on how to program to notify your NFS2640. Um, so in this video, I'm not going to be going over everything since I'm not a technician and I don't have verifier tools. So some things you can only do through verifier tools like um, like doing like installing an NCA display or a DVC. Technically, I do have verifier tools. It's just that the USB ports on this panel aren't working right now. So... I have to get that fixed but anyways I'm going to be showing you what can be programmed through a keypad and I'm going to be showing you all that I know because this video isn't meant for a technician or someone in the field because this is just a hobby system and yeah so if I go if I miss anything it's because I probably don't know about it but anyways I'll be showing mainly how to add points how to change sync options how to ch uh, how to map NACs to a specific zone and stuff like that. This um this programming guide could also be used for the 320 since the 320 is basically the 640 but with only 320 points and with only one SLC. So anyways, if you first power up the panel and if you install batteries and stuff, the only trouble you'll have is a no device installed on loop one. The reason you'll have this trouble is because even though you ha you might have ins devices installed, you haven't programmed them into the system. So we need to program them in. So we're going to press enter. And it's going to ask us, do you want to go on program mode or restatus entry? We're going to press 1 for programming. Um, with notify panels, there's a level 1 and a level 2 pr um, programming password. Level 1 gives you access to basic things like um, walk tests, um, changing the time. Re, um, clearing history, if I remember correctly. Level two gives you access to like deleting, um, deleting the whole system, deleting points, um, changing seek option, big stuff. Um, with level two, it's not like simplex where level two gives you access to level one and stuff in level two. Level one and level two are separate. So what's ever in level two, you don't have access to what's in level one. But anyways, we're going um going to level to programming first. I'm not going to be showing the programming password because um, this password is used for like um, usually text don't change it so I'm going to cover it. So yeah. Okay I entered the password and now it's going to, um, now we're going to press enter. Now it's going to go into trouble since we're going since we're in programming mode. If it starts beeping that means you go into programming mode correctly. So um, when you go into programming mode, they're basic programming, network, utilities, and flash scan polling. Um, if this is a hobby system, you don't have to worry about network unless you have like two, two, um, unless you have like an NCA display or two pro, um, panels network together. But you shouldn't be worrying about that. This is a hobby system. But anyways, we're gonna go into basic programming. And how do you add points? Well, you cannot go into points because you cannot add individual points. You have to do auto programming. So you're going to press auto program and it's going to um, search the SLC for points. This takes like two minutes. It's probably because how old this panel is and also because how many points this panel is. How many points the panel could support. Um, so it's probably a mix of both. But after this is done auto programming, I'll cut back to that. Okay, it's done auto programming. So after it's done auto programming, um, it should show a screen like this. So it says zero, de I mean two detectors, five modules, and four bells. So if it doesn't show this, that means um, there's probably nothing in the SLC. Like if it only shows like, well, it depends. So for example, if you don't have anything installed, it'll just show f four bell circuits. If it does not show four bell circuits, that means something's wrong with your panel. Because there should always be four bell circuits because um, it, sh it should always show four bell circuits because um, there's four um, NACs in the panel. If it doesn't, then something's wrong with your panel. And it just exited out of auto programming because I took too long. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go back into auto programming and show you what to do from there. So let me go back into auto program and cut back to that. Okay, so it um, went back into auto programming and it scanned all the devices again. So I have two acclimates, so I'll press enter. And I think it'll go back and 
well it'll go into the main screen where it says system normal so we'll see that um, I think it froze it might take a while because it needs to um, like add the points and stuff but yeah we'll wait but after, while we're waiting for that as I was saying um, when you're going to auto program mode, there should be four bell circuits because your four bell circuits are your NAX. If there isn't four bell circuits, something's wrong with your panel and you should get it checked out. As for everything else, um, if you have something installed and there isn't at least one module or at least one detector, let's, um, well, there could be one module and zero detectors or one detector and zero modules. As long, if there isn't one, at least one addressable device on the SLC, your SLC is probably dead. But yeah. Okay, so I didn't accept the other device. But yeah, as you can see, um, system is normal. Um, so now it's into trouble because the detector need to initialize. I'll show you how to program points or how to modify points in a m moment. But as you can see, um, um, okay, let me, I'm not sure if you can see because it's probably out of focus right now. I'll focus. Okay, there. As you can see, the um thing is pulling i'm not sure why it pulls so sl not slow but my camera looks like it's so slow um but it actually it's pulling really fast but anyways let me um re um focus and then um i'll go into program mode okay so we're going to press enter we're going to press programming i'm going to enter the programming password i'm not going to be showing you this because usually installers don't change it so we're going to press enter. And we're going on to basic programming. Now we're going to go into number two, which is point programming. We're going to press one for modify point. Now, this might be a little bit confusing because notify panels when it comes to programming, it's a bit confusing. As you can see, it says detector equals star, module equals pound, and output circuit equals hash, well, and or I'm not sure what symbol that is. I think that's an and symbol, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, um, once you get how this works, it's actually pretty simple to understand. So if I wanna modify a detector, I'll press, as you can see it says right here, detector, I'll press detector. And now it's asking us for the address. I'll put zero, zero, two, and I'll press enter. Now it's a smoke acclimate, so it's an acclimate detector. Now. What if I want to change the name to, let's say, Basement Smoke? I'll use the QWERTY keypad to change it to Basement Smoke. And I could leave the one on um, loop 1 detector 002, but I'm deleting that. The way you delete is you press space. As you can see, we have a full QWERTY keypad, unlike Firelight, which you have a T9 keypad or like silent night you actually have a full keypad here now zero five stands for the zone i do not want it as zone five i want to set as zone two because i like um all my detectors set as zone two so we'll put zero two and the way you save this is you press enter oh also this is for like pre-alarm and stuff like that i'm not entirely sure about that so i'm just going to exile that now we're going to do detector three so as i said before you can press detector zero zero three enter we're going to change the name to bathroom smoke it's not a bathroom it's just close to the bathroom so i'm just going to call it bathroom smoke bathroom smoke and you can use the arrows to move the cursor I'm not sure if there's a faster way, but that's how I know. So we're going to press 2, and we're going to press enter. And now we're going to do modules. We're going to change module 001 to a uh, detector, because I'm module 001 as a beam detector. We're going to change this to beam detector. Oh, I, I misspelled that. Beam detector. Okay. Now we're going to change the zoning to zone 1. Oh, I mean zone 2, not zone 1. Zone 1 are for my pool stations and my 
alarm modules. Anything that's not a detector, I have it set as zone one. So module zero zero two. Module zero zero two, I have it set as a agent release. So we're going to next selection. Also, you could change your selection by using the button. Plus and minus are for changing what that is. Manual release. Okay. Now we're going to set this as agent release. I'm hoping I spelled that right because I don't know how to spell. And um, with agent release zones, it's a bit different. So we're going to set this as zone 10 because I do not want this alarm to activate the alarm NACs. Well, the fire alarm NACs, I just want this to activate its own NAC. So we're going to set this as zone 10 and we're going to mark this as a releasing zone so this is going to activate releasing zone zero releasing zone zero is where you can map a NAC as so i'll set i'll show you what special zone special functions are in a second after i'm done programming the um points so we're going to module 003 module 003 i have set as a pool station so we're going to set that as a pool station and this is basement pool Oh my god, I did not mean to put, wait, yeah. Okay, now we're going to set this as zone one. Now I have, I have a bunch of points to modify. So after I'm done modifying them, I'll show you what special functions are. So I'll skip to that. Okay, now I'm going to go into special functions. So special functions is number six. So we're going to press number six. Special functions are basically how you set NAC coding, um, releasing, like agent release time. Uh, you could set your coding options, your pre-alarm, all that. So first I'm going to set our pre-signal. Pre-signal, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's fine. Let me just check because I'm not, I think that's what I had defaulted because I'm not a we're a good master at this, so pre-alarm signal, we do not want that. So we're going to X out this. Now we're going to go into releasing zone. So we're going to put R0, and it's going to take delay. We want a 45 second delay. Abort, um, I want our abort set as, let's see, AHJ. So AHJ, we're going to press cross, um, no, soak, zero, zero, and releasing zone zero. So everything looks fine. So we're going to press um, enter. Enter, save something, escape, delete to changes. So now we're going to go into um, F5, F6, and F7. We don't have to, well, I don't have to worry about that. That's basically for like, if you want to change sensitivity of detectors and stuff like that. But now we're going to go into F8. F8 is your coding options for NACs. Um, so if you have a net, NAC set as F8, it'll make the NAC um, what you have it says. So I want it set as uh, system sensor sync. So, as right here says system sensor strobe, so we're gonna press enter. And I think F9 is for pre alarm. Yeah, we want, yeah, so we're gonna keep that the same. So we're gonna press enter, well, escape. And now we're gonna program our NAC sync option. So we're gonna go into point, modify point. Um, our NACs are under, um, our NACs are under point option. So we're gonna press one, because NAC one is where I have my um, alarms. Uh, my system sensor alarms on so we're gonna have this set as a strobe circuit um, if I remember correctly I have to set this as strobe circuit yes we set that as a strobe circuit now we can name this um, I think I'm gonna name this system sensor um, strobe or we can set this as a horn strobe I don't know I'll set this I'll name this system sensor strobe circuit I'm not sure if I named it okay yeah Yeah, I think that's fine. System sensor number one. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it like that. And now, um, we're going to scroll to right here. Because we have to set our NAC sync. 
So, how do I set my naxing? You don't see like, there's no option for coding, no option for that. As you can see, we set our special function. Special function is basically um, your NAC coding option. Unlike, well sadly with this panel, um, with all notifier panels, um, let's say you want one NAC says March time and one NAC says code 3. Sadly, you cannot do that. With Since special functions is used for NACs, you can only set your special function for one thing. So system sensor sync, I can only use system sensor sync. But as you can see, I set F8 function 8 for uh, system sensor um, coding. And now I want um, zone 1 and zone 2 to activate this. So we'll put that and we'll scroll here. Now star. Star stands for, I think star stands for if it's silenceable. Let me check. I have the manual right here. So yeah, it's overexposed, but I'll show you what I mean. Star means um, switch inhibit. So right here, um, well, right here, okay, I have to zoom out. So under here, under the keypad, there's switches for if the CPU fails, you can still disable NAX and stuff. So do I want switch inhibit? I do not want that, so I'll have this as star. Now, what is F for? F stands for if it's silenceable. Um, yes, we want to set a silenceable. And W stands for walk test. Um, we, well, usually you want to set silenceable because you want the strobes to stop flashing as well because that's the new ADA code reply, um, apply, I mean requirement. But since this is a hobby system and I want my strobes to flash even um, well I want my strobes to flash and my horns to stop I'm going to set this as a star. So I'm going to set this as a non-silenceable NAC. And B01 stands for Bell Circuit 01. And now we're going to set our agent release zone. Our agent release zone is this NAC right here. So this systems, this Gentex this Gentex on one right here, I'm not sure if you can see it, right there. That Gentex one, I have it says Agent Release, and it's on NAC2. So the way we change NAC2 as an Agent Release, we're going to go to Output 2. And now we're going to set this as a um, Release, not Release Embell. Release, I know it's, let me make sure. Release Code Bell, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, Release Code Bell. Uh, release code bell basically means um, like it'll code the bell so that when um, like there's so when one zone is activated like a smoke detector it'll do a slow march time and then when you do a manual release it'll do continuous so we'll set this as agent release agent release And I don't want the, we're going to set this as agent release number, was it zero or, I think it was that, number, okay. So the way you add dots and stuff is you press your shift key, which is this one, and you'll press number, number two. So, and now we're going to go into... We're going to scroll to zones. Also, I'm sorry that beeps. I'll show you how to turn off the beeping in a second. But we're going to press R0 since it's a releasing zone and we want it as a releasing zone 0. Everything else is fine, so we're going to press enter. Now, now we programmed our NAX and usually everything is fine. But Let's say we want to change um, how fast our um, our notifier devices pull because I do not like how fast they're pulling right now. Right now they do not look like they're pulling fast because see they look like they're pulling slow but actually they're pulling really fast. So the way we change that we're going to go into system and silence inhibit. So silence inhibit basically means do you want um, a certain amount of time to pass before you can press signal silence? I do not want that. Auto silence, yes. I want it to automatically silence after 10 minutes. Um, 
verification, verification is zero. We want USA time. Um, terminal, uh, I don't know what that is. AC delay, yes. LOC, LOC T blink, yes. We want that set, uh, basically, um, the way this works is, if you want, I'm going to set it five. So basically the way it works is, if you set, um, if you set, let's say 16, so it'll blink every, once every 16 times it'll pull. If you set a zero zero, it'll not blink at all. And the only, the LED will only turn on when you pull a pull station or if a module is activated. Zero one means it'll blink every time it pulls. So every time it gets pulled, it'll blink fast. So that's why, um, the modules are blinking so fast. And, um, what zero five means, it'll blink, um, every fifth time it pulls. So that gives us a good amount of blinking time, but not a lot. Um, so it's a decent amount. Um, ST4, style 4, that means, um, your, your NAC and SLC style. ACSN is for, um, I'm not sure what that is for, but we'll press enter. Now we're going to go into, um, message. So this is your banner. Like, what do you want it to say? I want it to say notify your fire systems. So, notifier, space, fire, pro, protection, systems. So, we're going to, let's see. Yeah, that looks fine, so we're going to press enter. And now, let's see, what else do we need? Zones. So... Zones are basically your software zones. This, this is an addressable panel. Addressable panel do not have physical zones, unlike conventional panels which have zones. Um, physical, I mean, these are software zones. So, um, a software zone is basically, um, it's built into the panel. So, it's not in physical zone. So, we're going to set um, zone 1. Yeah, zone 1, that's fine. I don't know. Because zone 1, we just keep that. Yeah, I'm not going to change our zone names, so we're going to press escape. Now, let's go into, uh, I think that's all. Oh, no, it's not. So we're going to press three for utilities. Utilities is, like, not that much you have to worry about. So basically, you t region, trouble reminder. If you set that as zero, that means there's no beeping. I like number two because it beeps every 30 seconds. I like that to remind me, even um, if there's a trouble, it will still beep. I like that because it will remind me. ALA scroll, that basically means if there's another event that comes up, let's say there's a battery trouble and then a fire alarm comes up. The fire alarm event will display on the screen, so you don't have to press the acknowledge key to scroll through the event. Local control, local control is um basically how you want your display to act. Um, It could be... Um, local control one means all the buttons work. Chicago style means only acknowledge and system reset work. And I do not know what everything else means. Oh, and also there's no control, which means none of the buttons work. But that's fine, so we're going to press enter. Flash cam pull is, let's say you don't want, let's say you want to set it as, um, let's say you want to set it as clip, which is classic loop interface protocol. You can set um, loop one detector. Do you want flash scan? No. And loop one module modules. You could set that as no. But I do want flash scan. So um, I do want it as flash scan. So that should be everything. No fire fire protection system. So everything seems fine. So it looks like we successfully programmed the panel. So um, to make sure I successfully programmed it, I'm gonna pull device. Um, well, I'm gonna pull the the agent release, which is right here, and we're going to see if it goes into alarm. And after we pull the agent release, we'll test a smoke detector in a pull station. So let me get my FCI key. I have my FCI key right here. And I'm going to pull the pull station. So I'm, I'm going to lift and pull. Okay, so as, it, as you can see, it says discharge. It says manual release, agent release, zone 10. And it only activated the um, Gentex Commander and not the other NACs, which is really good because that's what I wanted it to do. 
So press system reset. It's back to normal. And then I'll test a uh, detector. Okay, right here we have our um, Silent Night Acclimate. Well, this is supposed to be a notified one, but it's a Silent Night brand because they do work on this panel on flash scan. So we're gonna test this by magnet testing it because I don't wanna use smoke right now. So anyways, we'll magnet test this. So let me find where the magnet is. Okay, it's right here. So I'll just put this here and wait for it to go into alarm. Okay, it should be going to alarm soon. And it's an alarm. So I'll go back to the panel. Okay, I'm gonna press silence. Okay, the strobe is still flashing. I'm not sure if you can see, but I'm not sure if you can see here, but yeah, they're still flashing. Um, also, you can see it says signal silence, fire alarm. It's a smoke acclimate. It's saying basement smoke, zone two, and they activate at 5.42 p.m. So we're gonna press system reset. Now we're gonna test a module next. So I'll cut to that. Okay, now we'll test our module or pull station. I don't know why it's a module, but as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's not pulling as fast because I set it to pull slower because I don't like it when it pulls fast. I'm not sure if you can see well, but I'll turn off the light. Hopefully that could let you see the module better. Yeah, see how it's pulling slower? Usually when it's defaulted to zero, I mean one, it'll blink like, Blink, 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 blink. I do not like how fast that pulls, so, um, yeah. Um, so I'll pull it. So we're gonna press push in, pull down. And I'll cut to the panel. Okay, so as you can see, we successfully programmed the NAC because it's saying pull station, basement, pull zone one. So we successfully programmed that. And as you can see, it was still blinking. So we programmed um, selectable silence as well. Um, so this was a basic programming guide on how to program the notifier NFS2640. Um, as I said before, I'm not a certified technician. Um, so this video isn't meant for technicians in the field or stuff. This is just mainly meant for hobbyists. Um, on peop or people who just got the 640 who just want to mess around with it and don't know anything about it So this was just a programming guide on how to program this panel if I missed anything Just let me know in the comments or if you have any tr um, questions if I know the answer I'll probably um, answer if I don't I'll um, I'll tell you I don't but anyways this was a quick uh, not a quick video But this was a programming guide on how to program the notifier NFS2640 I hope you liked it, and anyways, goodbye.